I'll tell you how Chinese a dish is triple Szechuan fried rice. Have you heard of something called triple Szechuan fried rice? See, triple Szechuan fried rice. rice. Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't, I haven't heard of it. <laughs> Not yet. No, yeah, I have to learn for you, Shanti. India, the Chinese food that never existed in China. Circus का हाथी लगता हूँ तेरे को चार बार ताली मारा बोझ डिगे ये चमिया वो हीरो को इंट्रो अंदर करना था अंदर में चाइनीज मेला लगा था ये वो जो पैंगोंग लेक में चरपड़ी उड़ी थी यही हो रहा था but इतना में शोर मचा था कि बाहर में आके इंट्रो करना पड़ रहा है and like I said before and I've said it many times thank you this is called Chinese incursion this is uh, our dear, dear, dear family friend Andy, who has organized this with his dear friend, who is from the Hainanese community, and he's brought in chefs from Sichuan, from Chengdu. The executive chef is from Chengdu. China has eight major provincial foods. Sichuan is one of them, and possibly the most famous in China. What makes Sichuan food particularly different than all the other foods is Ma it's la. got correct. Ma and La. The La is the spice. Ma is the numbing part, is the cooling part. I'm going to speak really loudly because as I had told you when we were shooting, House of Mandarin, a quiet Chinese restaurant is a shit Chinese restaurant. <laughs> For a proper Chinese restaurant, you need it loud, you need excitement, you need a full table, and you remember that fucking bullshit chili chicken they gave? This is what it's supposed to be. Jina La Siji! La Siji! Nima B! I've had the opportunity to stay in China for a bit. He's been staying for half his life now, officially. We understand this is the best celebration of any Chinese occasion, is I think the food. So thank you to start with. And then over to Sid now and you guys to take us through this meal. Let's do it with a celebratory cheer. Gambe! Yeah. Gambe! And Pio Bencho! And Pio Bencho. So this is, what did you say? This is Lasaji literally translates to chili, chicken in chili. And this is what original chili chicken is supposed to be. This is your favorite, you know? Yes. Yeah, eating this, you know, will remind you of the home. Oh, oh. This is the... Uh, Thank you. Did you try this? So good. This is so good. Thank you. This is Swan Chua Yi. This is so good. This Pa Shu Sichuan restaurant, signature dish. Yeah, it's Fried. fish. This fish is very nice. It fresh just melts. Fresh yeah. It melts in the mouth. Yeah. It's carp. This dish, you you must have it when you come to Pashu Sichuan Restaurant. Oh, yeah? It's a must. And this dish actually won an award yeah? during a local contest in our whole island some years ago. Now, if you remember, I had said in that very long ago episode, usually if you're doing a feast like this, you don't eat rice because you're insulting the host because it means I am not full and you never order rice, even if you want it because it's just not culturally done. And second, I don't know here in Singapore, but in China, you don't finish the last bite because then again, you leave the impression that the host is not enough. I made that mistake so many times. I would finish it and then they get more. You're like, fuck, I have to eat this again. No, because, and then I finish that fucker, then they add more. Their face is angry, my face is angry. I mean, I'm gonna fucking die if you get more food. How much more food is coming? It'll keep coming. This is a seafood boil. This is heaven. This is a seafood platters. These are massive prawns, prawns. That's abalone, uh, moule saint jacques or uh, scallop. That's crawfish, or here they call small baby lobster. There's a crab over here. Oh, there's uh, a crab on that over side. Over here, this side. They put it on a clam, but that's actually abalone. Oh, abalone. abalone. And from the look of it, that's an Australian abalone, which is a really high quality abalone. Come to Singapore. That diversity of food right here. My God, this is extravagant. Flow of food, never stop. <laughs> you need to have two more stomachs. <laughs> Come, Shanky. Get a new plate. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, this is like the bounty of the sea. Yeah. The, the best of the best. The best of the best is to over share here. and appreciate yeah. your coming there. Dig in the soup. Yeah. Shanky, the soup, top of the world. It is amazing. It is. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know China, I don't know how to do it in China. Jhaduwala Chinese versus this. One dish is not Jhaduwala Chinese. There's no comparison. The comedy relationships between 
China and India is manifested by what India does to Chinese food. Destroy it. And like to me to take somebody out to feed Chinese food, Indians are like, oh, this is Chinese food. But then again, Indian food in China is also next level weird. Singapore is one of the best places for an amalgamation of all these cultures. This point is very good. You must have it. Thank you. You must have it. Don't miss. You have to pace yourself with Chinese food. I said you have to eat, you have to have a cow's stomach here, four stomach. He said, have you seen them in Singapore? I said, no, the only two cows in Singapore right now are here. <laughs> <laughs> Tofu, he can eat that. No, but it's steaming in <laughs> Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> Those are minor, minor issues. <laughs> minor issues. This is the healthiest paneer he's ever had. He has one of these paneer bites, he'll be running around going, Superman. He will take his underwear out and do it from the outside. Super Jen. Super Jen. You see, this is a lamb rib, right? But from the top, you can make out this is the top part because this has the shoulder blade and then it has fat underneath. When it has fat underneath, then you get this double layering. This will make a great tabak mask. It makes a great tabak mask. Fantastic meal. Jo humne aaj tak jitna bhi Chinese shoot kiya life mein, Bombay mein ya Bangalore mein ya Goa mein, I don't know usko kya bolenge ham. India mein Chinese bolke chup rehte hain, wahi par rehenge ab. Sit ka ghar wapsi hua hai idhar, Singapore mein. Palki mein agar fit hota na, Palki mein aata tha idhar. But hey, last year I have eaten this. Was also in Shenzhen. I don't think I have eaten uh, this food ever since. And uh, I mean I'm so glad. But mere ko ye sa ek meal chalta hai, do mahine mein, teen mahine mein. Ek ये मैं जब हर रोज ट्राई किया था मेरी तो गांड पड़ी थी। Definitely suggest कि कोई आ रहा है अगर सिंगापुर, please come down to this place. And what was interesting was Andy had told me this little earlier कि this food is not something you make at home. Even the even the Chinese, especially those in Singapore, do not make it at home because it's not easy to make. So the only way that you guys can eat this or anybody can eat this. Is to come to a restaurant as authentic as this. Wow. This one probably is the most. Definitely try that out. It's not as funky, it's not as overwhelming for non-Chinese eating for you. For the first time round, that is amazing. What is that called again? Swen Sai Yu is sour vegetable fish. Try ordering sour vegetable fish. What's important is the Chinese like are with the very few outside of China are the Bengalis who eat carp, which is a freshwater fish. That's a prize fish uh, like the rohu and the katla. It's similar. That's a carp. Very sought after. And uh, probably clean your mouth up a little bit before you do that. <laughs> I went down on some seafood. <laughs> Like I said, I have family in Singapore, and that is my family in Singapore, Andy. Andy knows all four generations of my family, from my grandparents, my parents, and he knows my entire family. Every time I come to Singapore, I have to see him. When I told him I'm coming here, he organized everything. His son has been sending messages to him about where we should eat, so all the suggestions. Thank, Thank you, you so much. No, it's very it's fantastic, man. No, it's a pleasure to, have, to host you here. Now Andy will kiss all the people. <laughs> This is the executive chef of Bashu Chuan, which is Bashu restaurant. And he's from Chengdu or Chongqing? Chongqing. And uh, what is more famous? In Shenzhen, there's a lot of people from Chongqing and Chengdu. Who do you think is better food? Chongqing or Chengdu? Chongqing's food is very strong. The food from Chongqing, the spice is more strong. Mm -hmm. And the more numbly, more, more spicy. Num Chengdu, the food is more strong. Uh, so the food from Chengdu is more gentle. Oh, I did not know that. More easy. More easy. General public accept. I really miss the food from China. And this is what this is the first time I've had it after three years. I lived there for a very long time and this reminded me of my home. Thank you so much for a great meal. But what was great was we had at least about 20 dishes. As compared to our previous episode where 20 dishes came over a period of 2 hours, here 20 dishes came over a period of 20 minutes. And it was constantly changing. And 
just how, how the Chinese community celebrates their food, especially when guests are over. If they've got five bucks in their pocket, they'll go and spend seven bucks. They'll borrow two bucks from the neighbor and feed you. Because this is how they show gratitude and how hospitable they are. Next, we'll be on reflections. Fuck this shit. Bye-bye. I think this season is going to be called Andy and the Focus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he had uh, he had a motley crew of people, <laughs> and what a bunch, man! You had one table of mariners and one table of uh, the Hainan Council. What a meal! What a homecoming for me. Not Sichuan. If you go to Sichuan food, and if you have been lucky enough to get to it, use your chopstick or use your utensil. Take the piece of meat out, shake everything off, and then eat it. That way you're not going to get numb in the mouth. And even if you get numb in the mouth, that's part of the experience. The debacle that was House of Mandarin now manifested in itself in a great meal at Bashu. And this is how the circle of life works is not exactly what we started out to do. On that note. And on that note. <laughs> Wait, you are a radio officer? Party. Party. Captain. Captain is called Bati officer. Uh, chief engineer is called Bada Saab. And you were also a sailor. No. Accountant. Ah. He's the one quiet guy in the room. <laughs> All the sailors do, but, 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 but. Accountant is like, let me file your taxes, you fuckers. <laughs> the one thing you can't do ever. Yeah. And As sailors. sailors. <laughs> so you are basically not just chilling with your friends, they're actually hanging out with your largest customer base. <laughs>